Welcome to the College Credit Plus Non-Public School Overview. See on this slide many important College Credit Plus links. The first two are for the College Credit Plus program policies, deadlines, and application info for Ohio State. The third bullet point is going to take you to Ohio laws as well as frequently asked questions. Students that are Ohio residents as well as in grades 7 through 12 and meet Ohio's college readiness guidelines can participate in College Credit Plus. Students who also get all their application materials in by the college deadline on time that's posted on their websites can also participate. They must submit the Ohio ID funding application. This is for non-public school students only. Tuition and books are covered by the non-public school district for non-public school students. Non-public school students must submit the funding application through Ohio Higher Ed. Students that go to private or non-public schools will have their books paid for by the school, but homeschooled students are responsible for paying for their books. Non-public school funding through the Ohio ID account will pay for their classes. After submitting the funding application, the State of Ohio will award you a specific amount of credit hours that you can use over the next summer, fall, and spring semester. On this screen, you'll see the timeline for non-public school students for the Ohio State College Credit Plus program. There is only one deadline each year where you have to have all your application materials in no matter what semester you want to apply, and that's March 1st. All the additional steps you can see on screen have to be completed by June 13th. See more about these steps on the website that's in the top right, go.osu.edu forward slash manccp. You'll receive a funding letter after doing the funding application, and then you must submit that funding letter to Ohio State. There are risks associated with being in the College Credit Plus program. For example, poor performance in the class can have several effects. Not only will you have to repay your school back for dropping the class too late or failing the class, you may also have to pay for the books, but you could impact your future financial aid as a college student after high school. You also would impact your GPA at the high school level as well as through Ohio State, as grades are on both transcripts. Students who do poorly can also be placed on probation. Please note the classes and the information in them are not modified based on the student's age or the fact they're College Credit Plus. These are real college classes and the content is not changed. College classes are typically taught at a faster pace. One semester college course can be the equivalent of one whole year course at a high school. As you move through the College Credit Plus program, you'll note that the number of credit hours you're awarded through the funding process, you are not permitted to go above that number. If you do choose to go above that number, you'll be considered a self-pay college student, and you'll pay not at the discounted rate, but you'll pay the same rate any other college student would for any additional courses beyond what the state has permitted you to. Here's some rough information, but please know it's all subject to change. Go to our website there in the top right to ensure that you have the most up-to-date information. You must submit an online application to admissions at the College Credit Plus program, and then your next step is to request a couple documents be sent to Ohio State. You'll ask your school to send those. If you need the AccuPlacer, you can take it at Ohio State, and you can sign up on our website. There are three different semesters at Ohio State. If you have any questions, we'll also have our contact info at the end of this slide. The State of Ohio has many laws that the College Credit Plus program has to abide by. You must take 15 credit hours of Level 1 courses no matter what institution you attend for College Credit Plus. You can see all Level 1 courses offered at Ohio State at go.osu.edu forward slash CCP Level 1. You can also see how other College Credit Plus courses transferred those two websites, transferology or transfercredit.ohio.gov. Not only will we help you obtain credits that you need for high school graduation, but we can start you on courses towards an Ohio State degree. Whether it's an associate's degree, our two-year 60 credit hour degree, or we can get you started on some different options, maybe you're exploring different fields or majors that you have interest in, please know all the scarlet, red color degrees on this slide through business all the way to nursing are complete four-year bachelor's degrees you can finish at the Mansfield campus. Please note these are subject to change each year as we may have more or other degrees added. Check out majors.osu.edu to see any additional degrees. So your first step in taking College Credit Plus is you must apply to our program. Go to go.osu.edu forward slash mans ccp. At the bottom of that page will also be a video that walks you through each page of the application. Step 2. Talk to your counselor. 
Request them to send a high school transcript as well as a high school info form to that email listed on the screen. You'll also see that email listed in step two and three on our College Credit Plus webpage listed at the top. Talk with your counselor about if you have time for College Credit Plus and if it's right for you. Will you be submitting test scores or be a test optional admit? You can note that ACT or SAT test scores can be submitted to meet the State of Ohio College Readiness Guidelines. If you don't have either of those tests or you don't plan to take them in time before the application deadline, you can sign up to take the Ohio State AccuPlacer after all your application materials are in. We also currently have a test optional policy, but this is subject to change and not be present in future years. The test optional policy, if you have a 3.0 or higher high school GPA and you've taken two years of English and two years of math, you can be admitted without a test score. Please note that students admitted on the test optional policy will have to take more placement tests. So we encourage all students to just take the OSU AccuPlacer. Now you have your Ohio State application process done, but you now have to go apply for funding through the State of Ohio to make College Credit Plus free for you. Go to education.ohio.gov, go to the Topics tab, and then do the Ohio ID portal. Call this number for help from the Ohio ID Funding Office through the State of Ohio. Please note the funding application is not affiliated with Ohio State or any other institution that has College Credit Plus, so we likely can't help you with it, so you must call that number or go to their website. Typically on education.ohio.gov, they have a walkthrough video that will show you how to do the funding application. After applying and doing all the other steps we've spoken about, you must watch your email. The email that you applied with will be sent lots of information from Ohio State. It is our main way of communicating with you. You'll get information on how to activate your username and Ohio State email, how to accept admission, sign up for orientation and scheduling, as well as placement testing and more. Even as a College Credit Plus student, you can take advantage of any of the normal organizations as well as departments that are available to any degree-seeking student. College Credit Plus students frequently do use the Conard Learning Center, which is a free tutoring center on campus. It's typically open 40 hours a week, even on weekends, and they do lots of study sessions, tutors in many areas, and if there's not a tutor available in the area that you need, they'll find a tutor that has that same exact course as well as professor in a previous semester. There are tons of clubs and organizations. We have more than 20 clubs, as well as different major specific and extracurricular. As mentioned previously, there's only one deadline each year where College Credit Plus students that are non-public, homeschooled, or private schooled students can apply to Ohio State's program. March 1st is the deadline for all application materials. After you complete those steps one through three, then you must complete that funding application to the state of Ohio. Please note deadlines are subject to change. For most up-to-date information, go to our website. Important note, if you plan to attend Ohio State after high school graduation, know that you are starting your Ohio State GPA as a College Credit Plus student. Everyone knows it's competitive admissions to get into the Columbus campus, and GPA is a very important aspect that they look at. So if your Ohio State GPA might impact that, you might want to think if College Credit Plus is right for you. Another important note, if you plan to attend Ohio State after high school, you need to reapply for admission as a freshman. Your College Credit Plus application cannot be reused or changed to a freshman application. If you're thinking about applying to Columbus, it is competitive admissions and you can find more information at apply.osu.edu. Frequently, a lot of students who apply to Columbus are also interested in the Mansfield campus. If you are one of those students who's interested in both campuses, note that you can only apply to one campus and have one application on file at a time. If you're interested in Columbus, we encourage students to apply there first because it's competitive admissions. If you're not offered admission in Columbus, you'll be automatically accepted to the regional campus of your choice without reapplying to that regional. See more on our website or at apply.osu.edu. If you have any questions, please let us know. You can email us at mansfield askabuckeye at osu.edu, and there you'll be connected to Jessica, the College Credit Plus Advisor.